Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for tuning back in to The Legend of Zelda The Minish Cap for the Nintendo Game Boy Advance. And I am back, rolling and ready to go. We're going to fight all these guys off, and then we are going to move on to the next segment. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, well, we got to kill these guys, and then we're going to be shrinking and figuring out where to go from there. What just happened? Okay, it opened up. Is that really the last one? Okay. I thought there was one more, but it looks like there's not. Hey, you. Oh, it only works if you do it from the front? Dang it. Dang it. Now he's sparking. <laughs> Alright, I guess we're gonna see what's what with this, because I'm not really sure why it's here. Oh, does he? That's what happens. He goes and he, um, he blocks the way when he turns on. So we're just gonna turn him off so we can't do that. And then head down there and see what's up. How's that sound, guys? And we're gonna grab these chests. Okay, 50 mysterious shells, and you go gamble those, and 50 rupees. You must be very happy. I am very happy. I am very happy, except that it really probably didn't mean anything. Because I have a lot of rupees already. The fact that you can break pots, not that impressive. The fact that you can break stones, that's pretty impressive. That, that I will say, is very impressive. It's a lot more impressive than just being able to break a pot with a sword. Because, duh, you hit a metal sword against a, like, I don't know, clay pot, it's gonna break into pieces. But if you hit a um, metal sword against a stone stone, you know, because stones are made of stone, then this is gonna be kind of like, what the heck? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You know, be like, well, you just broke that in half with your sword. It's pretty awesome. It's pretty sweet. It's pretty sweet game. Not these punks. Alright, get out of here, ropes. I actually would really enjoy if Capcom made another Zelda game, another top-down Zelda game, because Capcom makes some great Zelda games. Uh, gotta say, there's some quality experiences. Alright, we have actually made it to the dungeon. Like I said, we would at the end of last episode, but then I realized that I lied to you, because the episode was already over, so we couldn't. But here we are, Fortress of Winds. Uh, Wines, sorry. Fortress of Wines. Hmm, to think the ruins were hidden within this cliff the whole time. Watch your step length. There may be traps in here. He's got a different voice than he ever has before now. It changes all the time. You gotta keep up. Uh-oh, Skultalos. Uh-oh. That was easy. Looks <laughs> like there's a lot of pits in this one. That's gonna be stressful. Puzzle solving with those pits, always stressful. Was, uh, was the arrows put outside as an excuse to let you, uh, get another item in the dungeon, too, and the arrows for the dungeon? Because if so, I approve. I applaud that. Because then I get two items more, like, I almost said more quickly. It's not a word. I get two items much faster. More items, better. Okay, so it just falls down here. That's cool. Alright, uh, let's see what's in these other rooms. I'm gonna go to the middle one after I try this other one. I just assumed there was one on the right because there's one on the left. There's probably another one too. Um, I want to see this map for this dungeon because this looks really complicated. So I'm curious to see what the map looks like. Oh, ooh, that's not a conventional bubble. That's an electric bubble or something. Because normally bubbles do not do that to you. This is a blue thing. I'm really curious as to what it looks like. <laughs> My little skeleton shows, so that's pretty cute, considering the dungeon we're in is very skeleton-themed. Ah, you tricked me! You were actually a skeleton! A spooky, scary skeleton! It's another kinstone piece! Eventually I'll get so many that I'll be able to stick them together! And just solve that problem right there. Alright. You can only kill them like right after they stop being spiky balls. Oh, these guys again. Whack the smack out of them. Man, this, this is a very complicated multi floor dungeon, I can already tell. Oh, I wonder what. I gotta shrink and make this guy go wake up. What is, uh, what is the point of this one? Can I push this in? What do I need to do here? 
I need to be small to get in there to begin with, or do I have to land on there? I think I need to land on there. Oh, I see. Uh, if you hit it, I wouldn't notice, but I noticed, all right. I noticed. All right, let's roll. Now I can get on the other side of that one. See, I meant literally. I was not kidding when I said let's roll. Now I can get on the other side of that one, and then I can grow on that side. But first, I'm going to turn this guy on so I can get to that switch. Jam. And then... Why Voila. I'm going to push that stone out, and I have access to this one, which is even closer. I guess. I mean, I don't really know what else. I'll just deal with him. He's getting faster. He's a pink one. He's a pink one, that one. Alright, come on. Let's roll. Okay. Okay. There it is. That's the one we wanted. Alright, I guess we're going after it. Did something just fall down, or was it just my imagination? That voice is much easier to do than the one I was doing for him before. And we're falling again! And then, like, you, like, land and your legs are all... <laughs> it opens locked doors. And blocks. You can use it only in this dungeon. You know. Probably. I don't really know. Is this the entrance? Kind of? Oh, this is the only one I didn't go in. Well, that explains why I didn't recognize it. Well, I did eventually go in here, I guess. I guess I'll find a locked door. This is a very tall, multi-level dungeon, huh? What's in here? Oh yeah, to the right one. Is, um... Can I go down that pit while I'm shrunk? I wonder. Love the slits when you're tiny. It's very cute. Please let me fall. Yeah, here we go. Wow, you fall so fast. There we go. Now what's up? Hey, hey, got a heart piece. That's four. I got one off camera whenever I went back to Syrup's Hut. I found one. So uh, that's four. You got a piece of heart. Now you have two pieces. What? I thought I had four. This is dumb. This is dumb, you guys. I feel like I've been ripped off. Is there? Is there actually a way to get in there? What? What is, what is this? Oh, there we go. <laughs> it's just, yeah, just leads out. So I thought. Hmm, okay. I also didn't go in there. Yeah, all right, coolest of beans. We're making some decent progress in this dungeon already. Oh, that's the chest, okay. Keep rolling. Everything will be fine. Um, we will solve this, you guys. We gotta get to the right over there. How does one keep solving? Okay. <laughs> they hit each other and died. I guess I'll go down one and see what's what's going on. I didn't mean to go all the way down. It's okay. Let me try one of the other paths again and see what happens. That we know to be a dead end. Let's try this mid path. There we go. Haven't been up this at all. Oh, this is already fun. We got an item chest. They ground pounded me, dude. Don't ground pound me, bro. I keep trying to watch my screen, but my laptop's covering a part of it, so I should really be looking at the gamepad. It'd be easier. Alright. Okay, we got some of these poses. Oh, let's take that, foo. Got him. No issue. I like how they kind of have like a slightly menacing look, like the, the little skulls are like, oh. You got a lot of, uh, Breath of the Wild-esque technology in this one going on. I wonder if that's intentional or... 
Yeah, all right. Comment down below whether or not I should go left or right, and then I'm gonna ignore it because I can't read the comments right now. But first, we're gonna figure out what's in here. It's disappointing. Oh well. At least I get to see the map. I did say I wanted to see the map, so I guess it's not so disappointing. But I was thinking maybe item, but usually the item comes later, so I I don't know. Yeah, that's about what I thought it would be. That's kind of kind of crazy. That's uh, that's what I expected. I guess we're going right. I guess we're going left. Ah, you have to press A. I was moving too fast. All right, try this again. That was easy. What the? Oh, hello. We have a ceiling master of some sort. A wall master for ceilings. Good thing I didn't notice the eyes were over there. I would have started shooting them and been immediately grabbed and thrown out. Uh, for that ceiling master thing. I guess our only option is to go down, so we're gonna do that. <laughs> oh, also, oh, hey there, buddy. Also, I, I just have a question for you guys. Like, uh, my next retro and worth it, what do y'all want that to be on? Like,. I'll play something if you guys have an idea, but nobody ever suggests anything. So, uh... I mean, I've had one person suggest it, and I don't really have a game, so maybe I'll do it whenever I get a whole bag game, but... Before that, you know, what? Actually, I've had two suggestions, and the same problem occurs. I don't really have the game, but... If you guys have any suggestions, then, like, you know, flood them in, and I'll add to my list of stuff to work on. Is that the mid-boss? That was the mid-boss. He was really easy. He was like exactly like the one I fought before. This is just a portal to the beginning of the dungeon. Yeah. That was really easy mid-boss. Also, he restocked all of the uh, supplies, so that's good. While I teleportal to the front. Alright, we're rolling. We're rolling. Whoop, whoop. Oh, hello. It's a good thing I swung or else it would have just hit me. Glad I went that way first, even though I really shouldn't have. Whatever. We got through the first half of this dungeon this episode. That's pretty good. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. I don't have another key, so I guess I can't leave. I really need both keys, unless. Huh. What the heck? So is there like one I'm supposed to beat on both sides? That's fine, I just don't have any keys to do that with. So I don't really know what to say. If I go down that, I'm just gonna fall to my death. I feel like I will, but I'm just gonna try. Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, so no key fell. So wait, how do I get to that other part? I just assumed there would be a key on the end of this one. Am I supposed to do that one? There was just a key on the end of that one. I just didn't do that one. I ended up doing this one. Should have done that one. Right was right. I just should have figured out you press A. Oh well, it's not a big deal. We'll figure out where that other key is. We'll find you guys, don't worry. Oh, what is this? You're new. No, you're not. Wait a sec, if you're here, then... What the heck is this? Oh, okay. This is new. Hmm. I need my wand from ages. Oh, now I know what 
what these are. I've been wondering what this pink kind of stuff is. It's the digging claws from uh, the promotional material. That's what I'm looking for right now. That makes more sense. I just gotta find it. So where, where is it, I wonder? Is it at the end of that pathway? Cause I took this one to my dismay. Has not provided me a key, so that kind of blows. Um, I guess we're gonna keep wandering around and see what happens. Cause I really, you guys, I really don't know what to do here. Hmm. <laughs> Stop ground pounding me. Aha, get that keys. The keys to the kingdom. Oh, it's done. Yeah, it's pretty done. Hello, hello. Did I ever come this way? I feel like I did. Hopefully he didn't, he just comes back every time. Alright. No? Maybe not. Maybe I did not come this way. I guess. I guess we're finding out. Find that other, that other key. It's a good thing I rolled. These do not have a lot of recoil. It's hard to get them to stay away from you. Kind of scary, man. Okay. This is still a new area, so that's good. Never spiked. Huh. Alright, yeah, yeah, this is good. This is good stuff. Step off, bro. Oh, here's the item chest. I really needed this. Opens it. His compass is sad. Oh, please be. Oh, it's the compass. Ah, oh, it's the compass. Ah, they're really teasing me with these claws. They know it's like the one of the other things this game has. It's like original and not just for mini Zelda game. So they're really, they're really teasing me with it, huh? All right, fine. I'll give that to you. That was a mistake. I should have waited. There we go. Barely had enough time for that because I didn't wait for that one either. Okay, so we've got some ropes in here and some other puzzle. It's not super hard, thankfully. Pretty chill puzzle. Really just. Why did I pull out my arrows? I'm gonna waste my arrows. I actually made a lot of dungeon progress in this episode. That makes me happy. Hmm. There is a real puzzle here. It isn't just straightforward like I thought initially. Alright, let's see what we're doing. Get over there. Hmm. This is very curious, you guys. I don't know how to solve this. this is very curious. Very curious indeed. I guess we'll solve it on the next episode, unless I solve it right now. Probably not. Huh. 
Anyways, thank you so much for watching this episode. Tune in the next episode to see what happened next. And I will look forward to that encounter. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Uh, I love you guys. I also love your hair. Again. I love your hair again. I said it.